Uh, hi, um, <coughs> I'm Kim Tong Yong from the Associated Press. I have a question for the Warm Beers. Uh, President Trump was very initially very vocal about uh, North Korea's human rights record. He mentioned your experience, your family's experience in his State of the Union address, but once he began his diplomacy with Kim Jong Un, that issue has been sort of sidelined. So, do you have any expectations that the U.S. would use its current diplomatic opening to address the human rights rights issues? And have you been personally pressuring Mr. Trump, you know, through your meetings in September or in, in other occasions on it? Yes, and, and the good news is um, we heard from Stephen Begun, who is going to be the assistant to the Secretary of State if he gets approved. And um, they have, have pretty much said that they will bring up human rights. And um, right now, you know, nothing's happening. So. We, uh, we get tremendous support from our government and from President Trump. And, and what, what's discouraging is to be in South Korea and just to interact with Kwafu and to, to feel they don't get support from the Moon administration. And that's a problem. That's a, that's a real problem. And that needs to be changed. And so you have uh, the administrative, the legislative. So. There's a lot of different ways that you can work with uh, governments, and you have a democracy here to, to, to build support. So our government has been incredibly supportive of our efforts, and they continue to be supportive of our efforts. Hi, my name is Yuna Zhang. I'm a current director, and I came from uh, Channel A. Now my way to meet you, the talk show. And um, our talk show actually uh, all the factors talking about North Korean's real life. So, do you have any words for the defectors? Never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Yes. Thank you so much. Well, we've, we've been lucky to meet some defectors, and they're all fighters anyway. We are. <laughs> we are. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't think Wonderful so people. Yes. Just beautiful people. Just keep telling your story. Mm -hmm. I, you know, the more people want to know, in America, people want to know because they have a hard time. This is the problem. People have a hard time believing anyone can be that evil. They don't want to believe it. They want to think Otto did something. No yes. innocent boy should have had that right. happen to him. Yes. So they can't believe it's true. So that's why you have to keep telling your story. And, and as far as the Moon administration, you know, it's the journalists that will hold Moon accountable. When President Trump came back from meeting Kim, a journalist said, did you bring up Otto Warfare? That would have never been brought up had that journalist not asked that question in front of Kim. I called that journalist personally and thanked him. So please, Ask these questions. Help us. Bring up these names. Bring up these people. Don't let them have a pass. You guys can do it. We can't. There you are with the microphone. Ask those hard questions. Yes, hello. My name is Katrina Peters from Germany's Der Spiegel. And as you spoke specifically about the hostel in Berlin, may I ask? Uh, why do you think the German government is not act acting swiftly on closing the hostel? And also, what are your demands for Germany's government or other democratic governments like South Korea? Thank you. So, demands on governments don't work. Laws do. So I think it's important that you have a structure in place um, to, to, to take advantage of. And, and as far as why is it taking so long for the hostel to get closed? I think they are, I think they're afraid. I think North Korea gets treated specially by every government in the world. And this is a problem. You treat a common criminal like a common criminal. You don't treat a common criminal special. 
So until we start treating North Korea's behavior as it truly is, and, and really around the world, there are no laws in North Korea, but North Korea has a presence in many, many countries, and they break the law in all those countries. In Germany, it's a, it's a special case uh, in that they are in the same building that Hitler had his offices in. He stayed in this building that North Korea runs a hostel. They make 50 to 100,000 euros a month, and it goes directly to the Kim regime. So they tell us that it will ultimately be closed. We'll see. So we just, it kind of was a surprise to us um, that this would be allowed to happen, especially in a city where the, the Berlin Wall failed and you really got to see the difference between democracy and totalitarian. We all know what the differences were. They exist here in South Korea versus North Korea. And so, but the real wall today is North Korea doesn't allow their people to leave and they don't allow information to get in. And I would say, why aren't governments working to get information to the people of North Korea? The people of North Korea are f indoctrinated with hate and fear. And the world does nothing to get information to them to tell them what the world is really like. So I think uh, we can make changes here. And, 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 and it, I think it starts with awareness. And once we have awareness, and then we have a plan on what we want to do, then I think ultimately we can change their behavior.